And on the roadways around San Francisco, it's been another day of traffic headaches because of the Bay Bridge closure. When the Bay Bridge closed for emergency repairs for six days in October 2009, BART was ready to carry tens of thousands of new riders with longer trains and expanded hours. In fact, a record 442,000 customers took BART on October 29th, shattering an old record by almost 40,000. It wasn't the first time BART carried the heavy load of the Bay Bridge. When the bridge is closed, BART is open. BART was open for business around the clock during the Bay Bridge's planned Labor Day weekend closure for retrofits. A little more than 15,000 people used BART during the overnight hours. Okay, good, thanks. Many were workers like Mariama, who normally drives across the Bay Bridge to begin her 4 a.m. shift at the airport. Wonderful. It was convenient when I read that BART going to be opening because I don't want to like look, driving the long way. So it was wonderful for me. BART helped keep the Bay Area economic engine running when the Bay Bridge was closed. And even when the Bay Bridge is open, during the peak Transbay commute hours, BART riders equal the number of bridge drivers, 50,000, reducing bridge congestion by half. BART means everything to this district. Uh, when the uh, Bay Bridge shuts down, how do you get anywhere? You get there on BART. And if you want to get someplace in the morning, you get on BART. If you love to count the daisies along the freeway, get on the freeway. In 2009, BART was able to maximize the number of people it carries while maintaining a sterling 95% on-time performance average. All this despite dramatic cuts in state funding. Over time, you really do have to invest in it. And because I think in the long run, we all pay in terms of safety and everything else when we don't improve and spend the money to have a, a better infrastructure. Anything we can do to be increasing public transport capacity in a congested Bay Area is a smart use of public dollars. Learn more about BART's financial challenges, including the historic dip in sales tax revenue, by clicking on the link in the text version of this story. Jim Allison, BART TV News.